Ever since I started this channel, people have been wanting me to cover this topic of the massacre of Mocha that happened on this date, April 6, 1805. But with me, it's all about timing, and I figured today would be a good day to offer my thoughts on this historical event that happened on the island of Hispaniola. What was the event, who were the victims, and why this is a continuing part of history that's falsified in terms of the misrepresentation of the images and the information put out to the public. So this is Hispaniola Holocaust. basic Google search will bring you to this information right here. Haitian historian Jean Price Mars wrote that the troops killed white, black, and mixed inhabitants of Santo Domingo. So that's the headline here. Killed white, black, and mixed race inhabitants of Santo Domingo. Now that side of the island was called Santo Domingo, but the actual towns that were hit were along the north coast. Burning of towns, burning of property, taking of property, seizing of property. And slaves were made of some of the survivors that uh, made it out. The ones that survived were actually enslaved. When you see the information displayed here, it says that the target of these troops were Jean Louis Ferran and his troops and Dominicans. You see here, it says the target of this group that were committing the massacres, the folks they were targeting were fortified in Santo Domingo. So this particular group that were doing the massacre, led by Henry Christophe, were not able to penetrate those walls. So they actually focused their attention on the North Coast, mainly in places like Santiago, La Vega, and Mocha. So we have to be careful when they say who were the targets because the people who they were targeting were not the victims of this particular event on this day. They were the people who were residing on the north coast, the Sabao Valley, the Sabao region right there. Those main towns and cities that were free and independent for a long time. Let's get into exactly who were the victims because when we get the images of what happened on this date, you will see someone who appears as a black slave, quote unquote black slave, killing and you know decapitating, hanging quote unquote white people or light skinned Caucasian looking people. For years, these are the images that we were receiving in terms of those who were being massacred by these slaves. But as the Haitian historian Jean Price Mars wrote, the troops killed white, black, and mixed race inhabitants on the north coast. Because if we're only fed images of dark-skinned people uh, massacring lighter-skinned people, these images become more acceptable to the more wider audience, people of color. But the truth is, the vast majority of those victims were mixed race inhabitants. The folks on the North Coast were mixed race then, same way they were mixed race now. There was never a point in history on the island where folks that look like this represented the majority of the island. So if you're promoting this event to other quote unquote black people as an event of a slaughter onto other people of lighter skin, then that's a false premise from jump. Who were the victims? Well. If you've been following this channel, you would know exactly who those victims were. We covered a lot of this on these episodes from the very beginning. The whole purpose of this channel was to showcase folks who were already free and independent on the north coast of Hispaniola, the Portuguesa series. We went into the demographics of who these people were. They were the mixed race inhabitants. They were the majority. I covered the town of Mocha, the spirit of Mocha, in terms of the historical founding of this town being of those caciques who were partnering or aligned with certain Spaniards on the north coast, free and independent. The Sagaos, the Sagao tribes who were inhabitants of the Samana region, opposed to Columbus and fighting with Columbus from the very beginning, right? These are the people of Mocha, the people of La Vega, the people of Santiago. And just recently, 1526, the foundation folks who left from the North Coast and attempted to settle some colonies in Florida, the vast majority of those people that left, 500 Spaniards were from the North Coast. So we know these people were skilled cattle ranchers, sailors, translators, builders, architects. These are the ancestors of those that were massacred in 1805. So when you're talking about a massacre 
of people on the north coast and you're only showing images like this then obviously you're trying to mislead the public and create a disconnect with the actual victims we tend to start the history in 1804 but yet we have a history of people who were there for 300 years prior to that already establishing schools churches forts cities and castles this has to be known and acknowledged when we're talking about the massacre of mocha we focus on those who were quote unquote white but what about the black and mixed race inhabitants who would have been the majority of those massacred well we do the research on what the descriptions were on the folks in the north coast they were moranos ladinos people of color who had wealth and the whole purpose of these massacre is to offset that independence and wealth we have to see it for what it is santo domingo was the capital city at the time but yet santiago and these cities on the north coast were doing their own thing we have to see this as a offsetting of a people who were progressing at a rate much faster than those who were the heads the governors who were down there in Santo Domingo, the city of Santo Domingo. So we have to understand that. The reason I will call this a Holocaust, and this was already titled Holocaust by other uh, historians, and because it actually was a Holocaust. Towns, cities, and property was burned. People were burned. I mean, it was almost like a sacrifice. And those who were slaughtered and killed were of Sephardic Jewish lineage, Ladinos. So same way we would view a holocaust that went on in germany and throughout history uh, we will have to include this as one of those events that were called and considered a holocaust only because of the ancestry of those who were killed there is no denying the sephardic jewish presence in the north coast of hispaniola prior to 1804 so in light of that i would like to honor and respect those who lost their lives on that date massacre of mocha on april 6 1805 and this is your brother david rodriguez with another episode of hispaniola history channel good night peace